Hello, welcome back to another video. I just found you. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the Godzilla vs. Gone 6 inch Kong with um, Battle Axe Roaring. Um, there is the other ones, um, but I really wanted this one because um, it has the Battle Axe. Um, a nicely painted Battle Axe, but we'll, we'll get into that later. If you want to see that better, just, I don't know, skip ahead or just watch the video. I don't know. Um, but. So let's just get right into um the sculpt. So the sculpt is really nice as you can see here. Um, just look at the fur. The fur is done like amazing. Really, really nice. Have that here too. I don't really count the battle damage as um like the sculpt. It's it's not too great, but I'll get into that a bit later. So yeah, pretty good sculpt. Um, now let's get into the articulation. A lot of articulation. Um, so that's articulation in the head, articulation in the arms, like this. It's like an almost ball joint. That's what it is. And then on the hands, um, it, they have they can rotate. Same thing on the other arms. And then on the hand too. Neck, legs. Now let's get on to um, I guess the play features. Oh, uh, actually, wait. Let's get into the axe first before we get into play features. Um, so really, really nicely done axe, actually. Fairly small, about as big as the Godzilla Atomic Breath. Uh, it's a really nice sculpting, and it actually kind of does have that glowing effect because they didn't completely make it blue. Because um, it looks like it just turned on, like in the movie when like the, the thing just turned on, like uh, the power source just turned on. I don't, I don't know. It's pretty cool. The most paint is right here, but I really like this. And then you have the, um, like the leather holding it together, I guess. And then you have the bone. All right, now let's get into the play features. So, I mean, the closest thing to a play feature that we get on this is, um, how we can hold the battle axe and, uh, the battle damage. Uh, so I'll get into the battle damage first. Um, so right here, there's a slot right here. And then to take it out, there's a part here, and you're just going to want to jam your nail into that, and then uh, kind of just take it out like this, if I'm able, able to be doing this on video. Yeah, so then it just looks like a piece like this, and that's, that's how it looks like. I guess this kind of happened in the movie, because uh, his... Um, he did get a dislocated uh, elbow, but I think that was the other arm. But I think Godzilla may have put um, his atomic blast at this part of him. So yeah. The battle damage, I mean, a lot of people don't like it, but I actually think it looks kind of cool. And then, of course, uh, let's end up putting on that. Giving him his battle axe. Nice, huh? Now he has his battle axe, looks really cool. And if you want his battle axe to be here, sadly it can't, because that's just a fist. Uh, but it's still cool. He can smash stuff with it, he can destroy stuff with it. Pretty cool. And then this, how to get the battle damage back on, how I'm doing it. So I'm just jamming it into this little part here, like that. Yeah, if you can see that. I'm just jamming it in there. And then this part kind of sticks out here, so I'm pushing it in and bending it in for that, and then, yeah, that'll stay in, and, uh, you can barely see it, um, let's get all the paint apps, so I already went over the paint apps for the, um, uh, the axe, uh, I was gonna do the paint apps for Kong, the teeth done really nice, um, tongue even, uh, Face, like the more skin part uh, painted just it's black it's good eyes painted really well you got pupils technically there's holes but I mean since it's black it works and then um, 
He has this nice black wash right on the front of the figure, really making it look out like um, fur. You can really see it here and on the back of the head. Not really on the back. And we have the feet painted black. And then for the arms, you can see painted black, but there is still the fur texture on the other side. And then you have his uh, scars here. That's basically it. Uh, and he looks really, really good with his um, with his battle axe. You can really get him to into some cool poses. Uh, you can even do like a little. You can like break his arm again, like. Uh, uh. So this figure has a lot of articulation, uh, a lot of good paint apps, and um, it's a fairly cheap figure, so um, yeah, I'd totally recommend it. Uh, if you like Godzilla vs. Kong, um, I recommend this one more to Kong fans or to people that just want the, the trio. The Okay, now we're entering spoiler zone, All right, like the trio um, Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla, and Kong. Uh, I think they should make like a Kong with snow variant, and they should make a Roaring Kong with um, Mecha Godzilla's decapitated head that he can hold. That might be too gruesome, but I really want I really want them to make that. If they don't make it, I will promise you I am going to make that. I actually have a plan. Like, like the the radio tower with Godzilla, you can like take the radio tower and like get another Mecha Godzilla, and then like put the head there. It, it might be good, you know? And I have to try it because I want a decapitated Mecha Godzilla. You know, I I really want that. It's, it's a little weird, I know. But the overall, great figure, great paint. Uh, so, for everything, um, so I say good paint, good sculpt, good play feature, good axe, um, good looks, great. Great figure overall. Great articulation too. Um, yeah, totally recommend this. That's the end of our review. Bye.